Good evening. Uh, back again. Uh, it's, of course, you can tell it's uh, nighttime. Uh, and I just wanted to make this a uh, little short video. I know that uh, this is hard to explain, and for anyone that hasn't been in a similar situation. Uh, I'd just like to explain a couple of things. Uh, this, I look at this experience, or experiences, what I'm going through right now. Uh, to me, uh, I looked, or look at it as an opportunity. Strange as that may sound, uh, it is an opportunity. Uh, you know, surviving, and I wouldn't necessarily call this an urban jungle, uh, but it's a little bit different than surviving in the woods, in the wilderness, or what have you. And I guess the major difference, the most contrasting difference, would be in the wilderness, it's you and nature. You know, in an urban setting, uh, it's you, a little bit of nature, and a lot of uh, other people <laughs> that you have to contend with. And people are generally uh, not as predictable or they're not following set patterns because of course they're people and they have thoughts and make decisions and what have you they have opinions but you have to deal with the people and I, I welcomed the opportunity to uh, to meet different people to talk to different people to get their uh, opinions and their what their perspective are perspectives are on you know issue, some issues that uh, re revolve around uh, relationships with other people you know not 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 in a uh, a love you know get married girlfriend boyfriend kind of thing but in just everyday interactions with people, with each other, uh, you know, with, with other people. And so I, I've looked at this, uh, it's been a challenge, no doubt, um, but it is an opportunity for me, I feel, that uh, to learn n more about myself, but not so much, well, I guess that that is a high on the... Uh, you know, the lessons <laughs> list. I've learned much about myself, much more than I had previously. I know much more now about myself than I had previously before this. And, you know, people are like, oh my God, you're crazy. Why are you doing this? Well, everybody has their own priorities and whatever they feel their purpose is in life. But for me to be able to experience what I have, uh, I feel that it's going to help me in the future uh, in my life. And it will, I feel that it's going to help me, it, it's, it'll, it's beneficial to me and will be beneficial uh, to me to hopefully uh, be able to be of a benefit to other people. Uh, like I said, I, li I, I really like the interactions with people, and it seems more so with people that I've never interacted with, you know, don't know, hadn't had contact with, more so than people that I do know uh, and I've had contact with. And... I find it very interesting 
uh, and in a weird sense if <laughs> like I said you a lot of people may not grasp this but it's been that aspect of it the interaction with other people has actually been enjoyable uh, I found out uh, a lot of things uh, I've uh, been able to acquire more knowledge about certain things and uh, the information and the data that I've collected you know about this situation about people and other people in similar situations and I'm hoping you know this knowledge that I'm data information whatever that I'm uh, acquiring what is going to help like I said help me in the future and help me to help other people so it's going to help other people in the future as well uh, I, I realize that not a lot of people can do this uh, and this isn't an, an extreme uh, situation uh, as such it's not the middle of winter time uh, with absolutely you know below zero or below freezing although it has been cold but it hasn't been uh, extreme okay but it has been enough of a challenge that uh, it is I have gained something uh, you know and I feel that way I feel that way about it um, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking towards the future and what I've gained with this experience, I'm hoping that that's going to, as I've said, uh, help myself and help other people in the future. Uh, and I really have to hand it to, uh, you know, it, it really is true, the people, you know, you hear the saying that the people uh, that that have less or, or uh, the people that don't have much are usually more generous and more giving than people that have a lot more. And that that's, I've experienced that. Uh, it seems to be a, an accurate statement or uh, analogy or whatever. Uh, yeah, in my previous video, you know, that's why I was asking, why as, as a culture or, or as society, why are we rewarding uh, all of this, this selfishness? This, And I'm not saying I don't expect people to you know take food off of their table and give it to someone else or anything like that I think that people yes they they need to uh, to work or to earn you know what their the whatever they might need to survive but it's almost as if a lot of people uh, when you're in this situation they don't even want you to survive or or they don't want to be reminded you know in society that there are people that are struggling and, and they just a lot of people just figure oh well if uh, he wanted to you know do better or do this or do that then you know he can get out there and, or they can get out there and go to work and get a job and you know this that and the other and it's it's not always that cut and dry. Uh, there are a lot of issues. And one of the things I want to say is that even with these government programs, which I have not registered for, or I'm not even thinking about doing that, but, you know, everybody says, oh, well, welfare, you know, these welfare people, they get on, yeah, there's a lot of people that uh, take advantage of that system. But yet, it's because of those because those programs are available to not everybody now but to some people just because those programs are available 
does not mean that they're actually helping the situation for a lot of people, you know, either being homeless or not having enough money to, you know, provide for their family or for themselves, for their, you know, whatever, you know, keeping a roof over their head or whatever it might be. And so, and this is something that I've seen, you know, that I've experienced that a lot of these social programs that the government is is using you know, there is some benefit from it but something something isn't right with them um, and like I said with our society the technology that's available and and such uh, I, I think it really stems from for whatever reason our education system uh, be and prior to the educate you know people going into the education system it's the family unit thing you know breaking up the family unit no stable foundation for for children to to learn things and and this is this started a long time ago uh and it's for whatever however you know the reason or reasons it's been allowed to continue but on the other hand these programs and such are also used in not a benevolent way you know towards the people that actually need the help and something's desperately wrong with this uh, the situation, the these the system or whatever, and I think the only way, uh, or well, one of the main ways that it can be fixed or rectified or remedied would be uh, it goes back to well the selfishness, but people are like I got mine, you know, hey, you go get yours. There are people that, hey, I busted my ass all, you know, all these years. Well, I've busted my ass for many years. And I started looking around and seeing that, hey, it does. sometimes it doesn't matter who you are, how hard you work, you know, whatever, but the, it's just not, it, it, it's not, uh, it's not reality. It's not reality on the street. You know, it's it's something that people throw around, you know, and I'm talking about these social programs and, and just all you got to do is work hard and, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Well, but yeah, uh, that's just like now. If I go out and get a job or whatever, or get a car or whatever it might be, as soon as I obligate myself, to uh, you know a credit card or a payment here or a payment there then you're hooked a person is doing that a person is hooked right back into the system and then you know you get comfortable and and then you get uh, I guess a word for it it may not be the uh, correct word but I would say a paranoia an insecurity you know that Oh my gosh, I, you know, I don't want to lose this or that or whatever, you know, the struggle was, was so hard or whatever. And that's one of the reasons I, I've done this is that to, f to figure out, get to the root of this, you know, because it's not necessarily because somebody's lazy and, and doesn't want to work or, or, you know, some, some reason like that. It's actually uh, a mindset a mindset that starts with people that aren't struggling that the people that do have uh, a decent livelihood or whatever every now everybody struggles there's no doubt about that but this situation it, can't be remedied with the same mindset 
that uh, that caused it. And there's a saying about that. What was it? Einstein, I believe, said uh, a problem a problem can't be solved with the same consciousness, the same awareness, consciousness, what have you, as what caused the problem. And and that seems to be an issue because we aren't beyond, we haven't gotten beyond the situations and such that have caused these problems for people to be homeless or whatever. Yeah, the person the person might lose their motivation and say, ah, screw it, you know, I, I'm tired, you know, whatever. Uh, I can kind of relate to that. Uh, but, so there was a an issue before reaching this point, you know, for people that are that are at this type, you know, or having this type of uh, experience existing, is that it's not necessarily the current experience, you know, being home homeless or whatever, but there are issues that caused, you know, the root, the root of the the reasons for a person ending up in a homeless situation or in a poor situation and that's that's the thing we have so much technology available to us even now you know we don't have free energy and stuff like that but we have enough technology that people you know should not be going without health care and I'm not saying that oh give everybody health care or whatever but what I'm saying is that there could be some changes made that more efficiently support uh, the mentality and the worth work ethic and what have you uh, that would probably go further to help you know, with the poverty, uh, the people not don't have enough food, kind of thing, which is you know poverty, the health care, uh, the homelessness, or whatever, and it it really feels like to me, in in my opinion, that these government programs, yeah, they create a lot of jobs within the government for people to you know. Uh, have to go to that are making really good money. Usually the people working in government are making compared to the private sector, they're making a little bit better money, uh, they're making uh, or they have better benefits and so on and so forth and it's more they have uh, it's more difficult if the person within these positions aren't performing to what they should be that that they can be somehow uh, either disciplined or uh, you know gotten rid of because of the incompetence that you know they aren't performing their work and it goes further than just the people you know sitting at filling out the paperwork or filing the paperwork that these you know that people are coming into the wherever the services are offered and filling it out, you know, no, it's it's actually uh, supervisory positions. It's uh, people that are in charge of, uh, you know, organizing and keeping these departments or whatever they are or might be uh, running efficiently and actually, you know, ha uh, that actually run efficiently to have a benefit or to give a benefit to these people to people that are are uh, you know requiring or trying to get these services it, it's I guess it needs a revamp or something and, and it's that you know with the services themselves the uh, the management the supervisories or even just the regular employees that are like I said, when somebody come, goes into a place to file for these social services or whatever, 
it's even them, you know, they, they really, they have no skin in the game, okay? They're in a, a, a decent job, making decent money, and so they're not, and, and I guess this may be the wrong thing to say or the wrong way to put it, but they, they don't have the compassion. And, and you know, and, and on up the line, there's no compassion there. There's no incentive for those people to actually do the best they can do and figure out how to work these, you know, services, how to work the problems, solve the problems, whatever, remedy the problems, so that they are efficient and so that they are actually uh, doing what they supposedly from what is publicly put out there that they're supposed to be doing or should be doing and then you have in the private sector you know the people that are doing okay and what have you they look at the the these people because of the services and such not being efficient they see it as a waste of money because you still see the poor people you still see the the vagrancy you still see the panhandlers you still see the uh, just the ineffectiveness of these programs and they feel in there having to pay for it you know they're working their 40 hour or whatever jobs and and their money they they look at it as their money is being wasted and they're resentful of that and therefore they're resentful of the people trying to to uh, you know get get these services now I'm not saying it's a hundred percent people that are resentful, and I'm not saying it's a hundred percent of the people that are are uh, are not lazy and 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 don't care and just trying to get over on the system. You know, there, there's a little of that, or probably a lot of that, on from either uh, either end of the stick. But uh, something something should be changing. You know, something should be thought about and, and some remedies to the, the to this situation needs to be considered and, and taken seriously because w like I was saying with this technology all that we have there shouldn't be people starving there shouldn't be people uh, at, or there's always probably going to be some kind of issues or whatever but not as many as there are you know as far as people being homeless or people living in poverty and, and such and and the the uh, this word I'm trying to think of the uh, the cause of all this situation started long ago and and I think actually and this may be sound like conspiracy or whatever uh, theory but I don't think these systems were actually set up and designed really to help people uh, like they say that they you know as being described as they they're supposed to help people you know it's uh, it, it sounds it sounds good sounds like a good idea but when put into action, uh, they don't work. And, and really, it's just, uh, you know, pork barrel or whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's just another avenue for dishonest people to make more money, you know, whether they are working for the government or whether they are... Uh, trying to get over on the social services, you know, trying to get the money, and they are lazy. They don't want to work. They don't want to be productive. They don't, you know, and a lot of this stems from, you know, the person's mentality and and such. Uh, but things really need to be uh, reconsidered. Re, you know, re re uh, just thought about and, and gone through and see uh, audits done to see actually how effective these these services 
and such are. There's a big problem there. Uh, I see a, a very large problem. But anyway, back to uh, you know my experience and and what I've tried to do and the knowledge I've gained from the experience that I've, I'm going through. Uh, I see things from a much different perspective, from a you know with a different light, and uh, I feel that that's going to help me in the future. Uh, help me to help other people, uh, hopefully. Uh, or, you know, not to say I'm going to get involved in any of these services or anything, but uh, it it helps. It it's going to help me interact and relate to people and have a better understanding of where people, you know, where they're coming from with their ideas and opinions and such. So thanks for listening. Uh, I'll upload this tomorrow. Uh, if it's not raining, yeah, it started raining a little earlier. I was out and about and I got soaked. Soaked. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of bad when you're in a, in a car like this and things are soaked because you don't have anywhere to to dry out, you know, stuff, and then uh, the moisture, you know, from being wet actually uh, tends to get everything else wet as well. So anyway, I see we have uh, Ashland police driving through the parking lot here, and hopefully they won't get me for vagrancy. So anyway, I'm going to cut this video off. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Take care.